thank everybody for taking the time to be out here today. And in particular, I want to thank the Texas Rangers who joined with me today. Earlier today, the Texas Health and Human Services Commission and the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services separately received tips that allege child abuse and neglect at the federal government's child migrant facility at the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio behind me. These problems are a byproduct of President Biden's open border policies and the lack of planning for the fallout from those disastrous policies. Complaints that were sent to these state agencies include the following four things. Children at this facility are being sexually assaulted. Second, there are not enough staff to safely supervise the children at this facility. Third, some children in this facility are not eating throughout the day. And fourth, children with COVID are not being physically separated from children without COVID. In short, this facility is a health and safety nightmare. The Biden administration is now presiding over the abuse of children. To end this abuse, the Biden administration must immediately shut down this facility. The children who are in this facility should be moved to other federally run facilities where the federal government has the space, personnel, and resources to ensure their safety. While we wait on the Biden administration to act, I'm directing the Texas Department of Public Safety and the Texas Rangers to immediately begin investigating these allegations. That investigation will be headed by Richard Henderson. He is the senior Texas Ranger Lieutenant taking the DP, Department of Public Safety lead on this investigation. The Biden administration caused this crisis and has repeatedly failed to address it. The Biden administration opened borders. The administration failed to plan for the influx of children that they invited to come. Now they face allegations of despicable child abuse and neglect. This must end. The Biden administration must act now. This facility should shut down immediately. The children should be moved to better staffed and better secured locations. And Texas Department of Public Safety and Texas Rangers must immediately investigate allegations of child sex abuse. I'll take a few questions. The complaints were received by two separate Texas state agencies this morning. One was the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. The other is the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services. As you may know, by law, they were required to pass that on to the appropriate legal authority, which they did, which is the Texas Department of Public Safety. Who made the allegations? The, the people who made the allegations, uh, they are remaining anonymous at this time, at least as far, I don't have their names. And I don't know if their names were disclosed to HHSC and DFPS or not. My understanding, the allegations come from more than one person who's been in this facility. Let's listen to what Biden had to say recently in his first White House news conference since taking office. Okay, and this was on uh, March 25th, 2021. Let's see. I'd like to think it's because I'm a nice guy, but it's not. In his first White House news conference... Well, look, I guess I should be flattered. People are coming because I'm the nice guy. That's the reason why it's happening. That I'm a decent man, or however it's phrased. That, you know, that's why they're coming, because, no, Biden's a good guy. Truth of the matter is, nothing has changed. As many people came, 28% increase in children to the border in my administration. 31% in the last year of in 2019 before the pandemic 
in the Trump administration. It happens every single solitary year. But the surge of migrants at the southern border. Now listen to this. He's going to keep the Trump policy in place that is going to allow him to rapidly expel families. Listen up. Listen to this. Hold on. Let's see. What do we have here? Expel tens of thousands of people. But Biden said he would not deport unaccompanied children. The idea that I'm going to say. Now, wait a minute. He's going to deport the adults, but he's going to... How are they making these decisions, first of all? But I'm about to show you who they are actually deporting at the border. Let's go. Which I would never do. If an unaccompanied child ends up at the border, we're just going to let him starve to death and stay on the other side. He's not interested in feeding anybody, trust me. Not no previous administration did that either. Except, except Trump. Trump. I'm not going to do it. Now, Trump said that he wanted to stop child trafficking, correct? Now... Trump said he was trying to stop child trafficking. How come when Biden becomes president, the trafficking increases 28%? Let's, I'm about to show you what's going on. I'm not going to do it. He's, he's trafficking. Biden said on Thursday that the vast majority of families are being sent back to Mexico under the Trump-era health order known as Title 42. They should... Wait a minute, wait a minute. They should all be going back. Let's see. All be going back. Who is that? All be going back. Who? But U.S. government data suggests that more than half of the 19,000 family members detained at the U.S. border in February were not expelled, with many released into the United States to pursue immigration court cases. Exactly. Now, let me show you. Now, you just saw 19,000 of them were received and they were achieved, okay? Let me show you in one second who they are interested in deporting. Let me show you. Hold on one second. Okay, let's see. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency has defied, okay, like he didn't say they could do it, but they're trying to make it seem like there's some battle between them, but no, what Biden is doing is deporting Haitians. Look. It's on the screen. Like, they're telling you everything that they are doing. In fr they're doing it in front of your face. And you voted for this man. And the only thing he's talked about for the last 90 days that he's been the president is what? Trafficking children. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency has defied President Joe Biden's deportation guidelines and sent at least 72 people to Haiti. From the United States on Monday, according to a new report. Amid an apparent clash between ICE and the new administration. Now, can you clash with the president? You know what? I'm going to let y'all believe whatever y'all want to believe. But let's be clear. They're not clashing with anyone, okay? They are deporting black people on purpose, okay? All right. Those removed from the U.S. on Monday included 21 children and a two-month-old baby. But didn't Biden just say he's not going to let these children starve and things of this nature? So why is this two-month-old baby being deported? Now listen, listen and listen. The Guardian reported, despite the White House ordering immigration officials to focus deportation efforts on convicted felons and suspected terrorists now how do you figure that out now look right here it says many haitians arriving at the u.s mexico border have said they were seeking asylum as a political crisis and reported coup attempts engulfed the poorest country in the region including johan i guess de copen uh yeah which is a lady all right but but listen I guess her name is Joanne, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. But listen, they are deporting black people. And when they tell you that they are deporting the families back to Mexico, that does not mean that they are Mexican. So now we know that everybody at the border are not what? They're not Mexicans. Everybody there is not a Mexican. And I'm trying to figure out, like, how did Haitians get up to the Mexican border? But okay, because at one point in time, a lot of Haitians were trying to come through through uh, Florida. 
okay? Because Florida, if I'm not mistaken, help me out, y'all. Get in the comments. Get in the comments. Because y'all see what's going on, right? Y'all see what's going on? You seeing it. I'm showing it to you. But somebody's going to call me spooky. Somebody... <laughs> I can't listen. If anybody is still using the word spooky, you can't listen to those people. Okay. If they are using the word, um, what's this a pseudo and all this other stuff and, and saying things and you think that they're talking Democrat, uh, rhetoric and things that they are. All right. Listen, this is happening right in front of your face. ICE can't go against Biden's administration. Like, oh, they just went rogue and things of this nature. No. That's who Biden is. But in order to protect Biden from being called the racist and the things, you can see plainly that Biden is a racist. He been a racist. And he's child trafficking. Right in front of your face. Straight up to your face. Right up in your face. The Spanish firm Griffles helped set off a kerfuffle. Last year, when it along with other firms offered nearly double the going price for blood, listen, blood donations for a COVID-19 treatment trial, Brigham Young University in Idaho had to threaten some enterprising students with suspension to keep them from intentionally trying to contact, contract, excuse me, COVID-19. The trial failed, however, and now the Barcelona-based firm is hoping to extract something far more valuable from the plasma of the young volunteers, a set of microscopic molecules that could reverse the process of aging itself. Earlier this year, Griffo's closed on a one hundred and forty six million deal dollar deal, excuse me, to buy Alcahest, a company founded by Stanford University neuroscientist Tony Weiss Corey, who, along with Sal Veleda, Revealed in scientific papers published in 2011 and 2014 that the blood from young mice had seemingly miraculously restorative effects on the brains of elderly mice. Now, what can they possibly be thinking of here? What do you think is going on? Has anybody seen the video, excuse me, the movie Cocoon? I think you might want to see that that movie. It's old. It's extremely old. Not extremely, but I suggest people watch that movie. The discovery adds to a hot area of inquiry called Jiro science. <laughs> so I guess that's a play on geriatrics. And okay, wow. That focuses on identifying beneficial elements of blood that dissipate as we age and others that accumulate the cause. Mm. Wow. In the last six years, I just, I just, this is amazing me and I can't believe it. But listen to this. I mean, <sighs> yeah. Out in the last six years, Alka has, has identified more than 8,000 proteins in the blood that show potential promise as therapies. Its effort and those of Griffo's have resulted in at least six phase two trials completed or underway to treat a wide range of age-related diseases, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Get in the comments. Get in the comments. Blood doesn't last long, but it seems we have a plethora at the border.